imagine jumping out of a plane. You're going 120 miles an hour. Right. And you've got to do you've got to do that. Oh and my gosh. You, you land on a dime like these guys can do. Guys and gals there from the Golden Knights, the U.S. Army parachute team, the Golden Knights, and they're literally the best of the best. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, that is 12,000 feet flying the American flag at that height. Oh, my goodness. Sergeant First Class Corey Rush, U.S. Army parachute team, Golden Knights uh, demonstrator is here. How, how do you guys prepare for those kinds of jumps? Uh, you just you have to take a deep take breath. Take a leap of faith. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes, eyes and, then, and then just step out the door. Ste yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like just like stepping down a step. Sure. So, yeah. so you said there's about 60 members of the whole Golden Knights, and you're divided up into different teams. Yes, we have about 60 active jumpers on the the entire team. Okay, and you're uh, on the black team. team. I'm there's on the black demonstration team. Okay. Yes. Okay. And there's a gold team. And we have a gold demonstration team, and we have multiple competition teams, and we have a tandem team, and then our aviation section that flies and maintains our aircraft. So is that the what the colors represent? The like, black and gold uh, is the colors of the Army, so that's what we named our uh, demonstration teams, okay, Black and right. Gold. And you're in town, I mean, the demonstration team obviously showing off the best of the best, which is what you're promoting with the Army All-American Bowl coming up here, because it's the best of all the, the high school players as well. And 700 jumps, and you pack your own parachute, right? Yes, I do. Okay. Wow, but you don't pack your reserve chute. No, I do not pack my reserve. That uh, has to be done by a certified parachute technician. And okay. So packing your own parachute takes how long? I can pack my main parachute in about seven minutes. And you, how long does so the reserve really? parachute And the reserve take? parachute takes about one to two hours. Wow. So you said your goal is to jump out and pack the chute before the plane lands? Yes. Absolutely. That's what? amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then get back in and just hop back out and oh go for another ride. So that way God. we can do it again. So there's no downtime at all right. or anything like well, that. Yeah. Okay, so I would think, because I've been on roller coasters and everything, that when you jump out of the plane, you know, the stomach's going to be going up your into, your, yeah, into like, your throat. Whoa. Yeah, that, that's a very common misconception. So terminal velocity of the human while they're falling through the sky is about 120 miles per hour. The aircraft is flying 120 miles per hour, so when you jump out, you transfer from forward speed to downward so you don't get that belly rush. And, and what's the feeling like? You said it's... It's very freeing. It's, it's a hard to explain because there's nothing relative to you in the sky. Uh, you're just, you're out there, you're falling. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's serene. And you said the goal is to, as we saw in some of the video, hitting the X on the spot and just kind of landing Land on dime. on the X. Okay. That's always the goal. <laughs> and what, and, and, but sometimes Mother Nature can be a little fickle and blow you around a little that bit. That is true, yes. And it's just like, get back up and do it again, right? Yep, do it so, again. Okay. By the way, uh, two bronze stars, two tours in Iraq, one in Afghanistan. That's correct. And the Army Accommodation Medal, among yes. other things. Had to brag a little bit. Thank you for your service, sir. Yes, very much so. so much. All right, we got to see what's in the back of this thing here. So, and you can yeah, pop the parachute. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna open this up and show so, everybody what. Now, you typically, pull the rip, typically pull the you'd be going at about, like you said, 120 miles an hour. Right? Yes. So this shoot would come out a lot faster. A than lot it's faster about than what I'm about to show okay, everybody. Okay. All right. Yeah. Here we go. So this is a deployment sequence. So he's got a handle over here. And he would pull this handle. It's on his right, lower right side. So just yank it. No, uh, oh, yeah. you're going just to pull it out. Okay. And then. This is a little parachute in itself, and it, it catches the air, and it pulls. Okay. Pulls the bag out, and then the lines pull off, and then after all the lines are pulled out, it pulls the parachute out of the bag. Ah, okay. And then at this point, the wind is going to get caught on the inside of the parachute, and it is going to open it up. Grab that side. And this is pretty much it, almost like it the, it's almost like the airfoil on, a, on an airplane or the okay. wing of an airplane, right? A Ram Air parachute, you said? Yes, this is a Ram Air parachute. Okay. And how fast can you? You said going so now across start the ground. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Let's see what you got. <laughs> and, and you said as you're coming into land. There's some guys that go about 90 miles an hour just scooting across the ground? Yeah, members of our uh, canopy piloting team, they can go really fast uh, swooping across the, the the pond in the ground. Wow. wow. Yeah. And, and we saw water in that video. So you scoot across. What do you do? Touch yeah, they, the water they, or something? Yeah, they uh, do their swoop over the water because uh, if they were to impact, it would be a lot softer well, than hitting the ground. Okay. It, it, it's, for, it's for safety, and they get to drag their foot across the water to make Which it look cool, too. Cool. That's kind of showing off <laughs> yeah. a little bit. We'll yeah. Show about so. it, yeah. Well, that is Absolutely. fantastic. And again, and you're going to be stationed down at the yeah, Alamo Dome, right around there. At the Alamo there. Dome, uh, we are running a booth uh, along with uh, many other people at the Go Army Experience. Uh, we're here for the uh, 
the U.S. Army All-American Bowl. Yeah, okay. there's the information on the screen. Of course, if you want tickets or to attend, it's tomorrow at noon at the Alamo Dome. Just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank